Jerry, how you feeling this morning, man? Well, I feel great. I'm uh, taxing up. I had a busy time after the ball game. I flew back to Dallas, and then I got an early shot out of there, and I'm taxing up in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, speaking to their annual Christmas uh, uh, chamber event and excited about that. And they put a little ring in my voice to have just beaten those Saints last night. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to get to see a lot of uh, great uh, friends and past faces. Well, Jerry, I know there's been very few times in your career as a Dallas Cowboy that you've left New Orleans a winner. Uh, that has been one of the toughest places it feels like for the Cowboys to get a W in. So is is that one of those things that you know going in there, how tough it can be to win in New Orleans? Well, of course, uh, we have such a great popularity in the state of Louisiana. I'm talking the Cowboys. Uh, it's fun to go to New Orleans. Uh, I told somebody I've lived my life with about 80% of my what I am because I've left 20% of my ass on the streets of New Orleans. <laughs> it's, one of, it's one of the great places, and I got to play in two sugar bowls and uh, just had, uh, it's, it's just really a special place. Uh, the entire people uh, of the state of Louisiana uh, gave a proclamation one time about the Cowboys that, uh, during Katrina, and uh, so it's fun for me to go in there. Now, as far as a tough place to play, the tough thing is that guy across the field, Sean Payton. Now, he, he uh, is one of the outstanding coaches, period. And uh, uh, he was here with us for quite a while, and it was easy to uh, see he was a star. And, uh, boy, uh, he put together with a very limited personnel on his offense last night. He put together quite a game. So hats off to him. But, man, am I glad to come out of there for win. Jerry, there are lots of uh, lots of moments from last night where it was kind of like jump out of your seat, man. That was a big play, uh, and I, I know there are some fans this morning that are that are kind of getting after us. There are a lot of fans that are like, "Hey, that was an ugly win." What do you say to the fans and the Tolos out there that think an ugly win needs to be put under more of a microscope? You know, it was hard to feel good uh, during that. That's that's to give them give New Orleans some credit there. Uh, the Saints, uh, but it was hard to feel good because we had to fight for everything we were doing offensively. Now we had some uh, guys back, Cooper, and obviously, and we had Lamb back, and uh, uh, but we certainly uh, had players. But we've got to keep in mind that you don't just come back. Uh, a lot of reps go into really executing well, and one of the things we've got to look forward to is. We're uh, getting these guys back. Lawrence was back out there. Lawrence did some good stuff. But as we now go forward, these guys are going to be getting reps. They're going to be getting reps together. Uh, we've uh, we've had uh, all clubs uh, have probably, but we've had a lot of things that would disjoin us. Uh, as we get these guys back, Gallimore next week, uh, uh, there's a real good chance we'll have Randy, not, Randy Gregory back next week. It's practice time. And the same thing is true with our offense. Uh, you just look at it. Dax uh, was limited in training camp. Uh, uh, I'm not making excuses, but he was limited in training camp shoulder. Uh, he, uh, uh, of course, later had the calf. And uh, they just uh, these are great players, but we got to play a lot of throw and catch uh, at practice. And we'll get to do that. That's what's great about this. We've got that to look forward to. We can refine by practice time and by repetition, a lot of what our fans and I, we all want to see. Jerry, you're a former offensive lineman. Give us your assessment of how the offensive line has been playing recently. Uh, I noticed last night, uh, across the board, uh, you had breakdown. And the offensive line, in general, has had uh, pretty consistent one player breaks down, another player breaks down, of course, uh, as a unit, uh, one breaks down, it breaks down the line, uh, the, the uh, concept of the play usually. And so, uh, again, that goes back to some repetition. Uh, we're going to get to have more of that repetition uh, with, uh, uh, now that uh, Tyron's really in the swing of things out there. We uh, uh, certainly uh, have moved some faces around in there. By Dez played good last night, I thought. And so uh, uh, we get Collins. Collins is 
Um, and frankly, uh, it's been about a year to two years, really, or a year and a half. But Collins has gotten back in the groove. He's still working with his hip, but he's getting better and better and better. The key thing with the offensive line, to your question, is that the more they work together, the more they see situations, the better they'll be. But then also uh, you've got to have, have – uh, if you have breakdowns, then you've got to be able to do some improv- improvising when that comes in. And all of that uh, contributed to uh, uh, what it looked like was uh, uh, some concern in the offensive line last night. Jerry, I'm not as concerned. Jerry Jones joined us here on the KNC Masterpiece on 105.3 The Fan. And you talked about being a little disjointed in some things and some things that have led to that. Last night, Mike McCarthy not there. I guess this is kind of a two-parter. One, how did Mike McCarthy watch the game? Was he in his hotel watching it on the Fox broadcast, or did he have a different box that he was watching through? And how did you think Dan Quinn well, did? Yeah, technically, I'm not for sure. I do know he saw every play real time okay. uh, and was able, was able to comment on that. I talked to him right after the ball game, and he was uh, just like everybody else, run the, run the ball run the ball there at the last possession, next to the last possession. Uh, he's into uh, 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 catching it, and throwing it, and, and uh, get, getting that timing down more. He saw the same things. The, the facts are, and I appreciate being asked the questions, uh, but it uh, we all saw it, and we saw some outstanding plays by some great players that we have on our side of the ball. And uh, we uh, have the makings, and we really have the foundation of our system in place. We just get in here. We've got these games left ahead of us. We've got 10 days here. Let's get it in practice, 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 repeat, repeat, repeat. You'll see this team uh, play better, and when it does, we'll all be smiling. Jerry, since Mike McCarthy wasn't there, I was wondering this. Since 1989, have you missed a game in person? Never. Never, never have missed one. Uh, never have missed one. Uh, my wife, Jean, has never missed a game. Wow. Never. Uh, they don't kick off with that. When you're important, they wait for you. We are a little tongue-in-cheek. We can do a little tongue-in-cheek this morning, can't we? Yeah. We all know I'll get my ass kicked. I'll it, get my ass kicked over that. Well, and We're Jerry, fun. that's amazing just because, you know, life happens, yeah. right? And sometimes you have to miss a game. And it's just amazing from 1989 to 2021, you've never you've never missed a game. No, no, that's, I haven't. And I've been to uh, probably a world record of practices, hmm. certainly for an ownership and maybe for a general manager. Now, back on the field, watching Zeke run yesterday, and, and everybody, all the Cowboy fans are texting us about this too, is when Zeke ran to the outside, he got a first down, but it's almost like he drug his leg uh, the last five yards uh, after the first down to get out of bounds. How concerned are you about Zeke the rest of the season, and would it do him uh, good to maybe sit out a game or two and get the knee healthy? Uh, really, uh, I didn't talk to him or talk to uh, anybody after the game. Uh, I didn't see what you're referring to. Uh, I saw a stout deep run defense by uh, New Orleans unquestionably and thought outside was where we were going to have to go. Uh, frankly, we need to throw and catch the ball, and that'll loosen it up too, and I know they have to be complimented. But, uh, no, I'm I'm really – uh, I'm sound with where I am. His trainers, uh, his uh, uh, the people that are the closest to his uh, health, his medical situation, uh, think he's uh, a good, to, really good to go. And so uh, I don't see after a ten day rest here. And you know, a lot of times if you can get through games, if you can push on, uh, then that's better for you than sitting it out. And then you actually, if you have an issue. Uh, it improves if you're able to get through and not in, uh, injure it more. Uh, he certainly didn't injure anything anymore last night. And so uh, I look forward to, I really look forward to a, uh, a powerful and uh, dynamic Zeke as we move on into the last part of this season. Jerry, the uh, the rookie linebacker won in a, uh, you know, rookie of the month, off defensive rookie of the month, and just continues to pile up every every step of the way. Could you have foreseen this kind of 
rookie season for him, and, and what's the ceiling for this kid? Well, he was our best defensive player uh, that, that we had on the board. He was number one on the board and as far as defensive player. And, of course, uh, we were looking for our corner help, but, uh, uh, boy, am I glad we got him. And uh, he's uh, uh, the thing that uh, you couldn't really put a finger on, but you never can, is that fire inside, that, uh, that, uh, that striving to be so much better, uh, that, that overachieving along with uh, uh, some brilliant athletic ability and football athletic ability. And so uh, I don't know that I've seen anybody that has the, uh, the, the, the makeup to get every ounce out of anything possible that he's got, along with being uh, that talented. And uh, a lot of people really do think that we should uh, really concentrate on just making him uh, a rusher. Uh, as we look to, as we go forward in the season, because he's such a pressure player. And obviously a pressure player is the most, uh, uh, frankly, and they didn't even argue on the defense. So uh, we'll look at that. You call him a linebacker, but what he really is, a disruptor. And he's he's uh, uh, very unique, but he's unique. Uh, I visited with him there before the game, and I, it's, it's intensity. Is just uh, very impressive. It's not uncomfortable intensity. Now he's uncomfortable those quarterbacks out there, but <laughs> it's not uncomfortable. He just uh, we call it it, uh, call it it. But uh, he's got some of that uh, uh, thing you can't define, but it's it there. It's there. So Dak had at times just some unbelievable throws and some great catches from Gallup and and, and from uh, C D Lamb. And then there are other times where it just either looked like miscommunication or he was off. How are you feeling about Dak going into December and down the stretch here? Oh, I'm so uh, positive about Dak, and uh, uh, boy, we've got uh, we've had a great uh, uh, first part of the season, or if you will, uh, first two thirds of the season. And uh, here, Dak uh, recovering from uh, his injury that he suffered last year uh, has gone through a few ups and downs here relative to his calf and health, uh, yet has just continued to uh, be what you want him to be in terms of uh, his practice, his preparation, everything that's involved. And if I have ever seen anybody at this position that can take a nuance of his game that he wants to improve on and make serious improvement in a week or two weeks, it's Dak. So uh, uh, that's that's what uh, he's about so much, not just about, but what he's about so much is his intensity to improve. And uh, he's he's the first one. I mean, he was, uh, you can imagine, he was just satisfied last night. He felt he could uh, have played better. He was the first one. And, of course, uh, you just know even without asking, somebody's going to get their legs run off out there with him doing work and, and uh, working on his repetition on his passing game. Jerry, I threw this in there earlier, but I, I didn't quite get the, the question in. How did you feel about Dan Quinn's approach and performance last night and his responsibilities? Well, it, uh, he's a proven head coach and uh, Super Bowl coach. Should have won that Super Bowl. And uh, my point is, uh, uh, he's got he's got uh, he, he's got the paper, so to speak, the pedigree, in my mind. And so you're talking about fortunate to be able to have Mike and uh, have him not able to actually be on the sideline at the game and have a Dan Quinn red step in there too. That's called uh, that's called backing it up. All right, so Jerry, my last question for you. You just talked about your travel schedule, where you're at, what you're doing today. How do you have this energy? Can you give me a little bit of, uh, I don't know what it is. Can but, we can it or bottle yeah, it? Like, yeah, how, give us why or how you have so much energy. Is it your sleep pattern? What is it that gives you this much energy at your age? Well, you guys are being kind. Uh, <laughs> I did get in about 2.30 last night from New Orleans and had to be back out at 8 to get on the plane. But uh, uh, the bottom line is that, first of all, I stay on a, a high, uh, the, uh, uh, a natural high. 
And uh, uh, the Cowboys do that for me, and uh, sports does that for me. I am so fortunate and would recommend it for anybody. If you can get in something that is just, uh, you don't even know you're spending the time or the hours, you can't, you don't want to go to bed and can't wait to get up. If you get in something like that, uh, then uh, you've got, uh, you're going to be a long way toward uh, 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 the energy you're talking about or needing to go. Uh, I'm excited about what I'm getting ready to do in the next hour and a half and visit these people about uh, career. I just landed and I landed about a uh, hundred feet above the old house that I grew up in. Wow. Over here and look down at it and uh, can remember some of the old trails out there. Matter of fact, I'd go over there and probably see some chunks of wood on the telephone post that I knocked off when I was about to bed with my <laughs> But uh, that'll fire you up. Well, Jerry, uh, we always appreciate talking with you. Wanted to let you know the uh, the bottle that we got of the Maker's Mark Select from you. Uh, did it raise $1,800 and helped us get to the goal, the highest goal we've done in the eight years that we've done the show for, uh, for Peace-A-Thon. We really appreciate the donation. Always appreciate talking to you, Jerry. Well, great guys, and uh, we've got a lot more of those bottles. You, you did the work. <laughs> Let's go out here and try to do some more good with them. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Th- thanks a lot, Jerry. I'd, I'd offer to auction it. I'd offer to auction it off, but they might uh, reduce the price. I've had that happen to me. <laughs> well, you have a great day, sir. Thank you, guys.